Hey guys, Attic Cyclist here. We're just with a quick update. Uh, if you are following along with the channel, appreciate it, great. Thank you so much for the support. If this is your first time visiting, I urge you to please hit that like and subscribe button, help support the channel, helps grow the channel, and uh, we'll dig right into it. So I had purchased the Vittoria TPU uh, inner tubes to give them a try. And I uh, wanted to try something different than latex. I've been using latex for the past three seasons now with uh, no flats, super silky smooth ride paired with the GP uh, 5000s here on my Factor Rostro. And I uh, rode tubeless for two years before that, had a shit slop mess, catastrophic failures. I don't really think road tubeless is exactly where it needs to be at the moment. So I'm going to continue on my quest with just regular good old clinchers and some latex tubes. But my initial impressions of the TPU tubes, uh, especially Vittoria here, is that they're extremely light, um, very high quality, and uh, they are exactly 30 grams on the button. I do have a uh, re initial impressions video. I will link that in the description of the unboxing. But uh, I had two rides now, and I guess I'm a little bit spoiled, and I don't think I'll be running these tubes um, primarily in the bike unless it's in my back jersey pocket in case I have to you know swap out the latex tube if I had a really bad flat um, they're definitely light they're definitely airy they're definitely fast but they they really they really have a lot of feedback they they have a lot of road buzz it almost feels like you are riding on plastic because technically they are plastic again I've been very spoiled riding on latex their uh, latex is very supple uh, very smooth, very silky, uh, paired with clinchers. You know, it feels probably, if not faster, uh, and smoother than, than uh, tubeless because tubeless tires are typically a lot thicker um, to maintain the air tightness and the, uh, the sealant. And uh, I'm going back to the latex. There's just nothing like the feel. You know, all these videos online talk about how light they are, um, you know, and, and how fast they are, which is great. You know, it's true. But man, they don't really ride that well. So, I mean, unless you're coming from Butyl, um, you know, and comparing them to the TPU, then yeah, then the TPU do feel airier. They feel, they, they, they spin up a little bit easier. Now they're definitely lighter. They're definitely faster. And on smooth pave, pavement, it is, it is fast. You know, it is like silk. But the minute there's any imperfections, whether there's chip seal, whether it's tarmac, whether it's imperfections in the road, you feel all the chatter and road, road buzz. And this is a very compliant bike, you know, these, these uh, seat stays here do soak up a lot of that, that road buzz and chatter, but I think that the TPU tubes are amplifying it now. So uh, this is just my personal opinion and my personal preference. Uh, I like the tires to be pretty smooth and silky, so I will be going back to the Challenge Latex tubes. And what I like about the Challenge tubes is that they are seamless, right? Vittoria, uh, Silka, um, I'm not sure too many other tubes might uh, that bike might be out there on the latex side but they are not seamless there is a join section that's glued together and when it's blown up i feel like it creates a little bit of maybe an imbalance in the tire maybe it's just in my head or, or visually but uh, i like the idea of the, uh, the seamless latex inner tubes from challenge so i also will link the amazon um link in my description as well so you can see exactly what i what i purchased here so i'm not going to go into the details about rolling resistance and weight i will link up aero coach and I will link up the uh, bicycle rolling resistance uh, data. They did it for us, which is really nice. Uh, again, we're splitting hairs, I guess you say, between the TPU and the latex in terms of rolling resistance. Um, in terms of weight, the TPU will win every time, but uh, they, I don't think that will outweigh the feel of a good old latex tube, which I will continue to run on this factor. So just wanted to give my second um, ride update on these. I did play around with the pressure. Um, and I just can't seem to get it dialed in enough without going too low uh, on a clincher tube. Right now I got 80 in the front, 85 in the rear. Uh, I, tr I tried 85 in the front, 90 in the rear. Uh, I don't really want to go too much lower than, than 80, 85 in the rear on a clincher. So that's just, again, my personal preference. I'm running uh, 25 mil uh, with tires here. So just wanted to update. And if you have any questions, please feel free to link them in the comments uh, or hit me up on Instagram. Take care. Thanks. Be well.